What's good everyone? So today I wanted to show you how to recreate an effect I use on almost all of my videos and photos. It's one of my favorite effects in the book and it's this fake diffused highlights kind of pro mist filter looking effect. It mimics the look created by a black pro mist filter which basically blooms out the highlights and kind of softens them. It just makes them look a little bit nicer. The effect is super easy to create, looks awesome, and works the same in pretty much all photo and video editing software. So let's get into it right after I let my cat out of my room so he'll stop complaining. So the first thing you need to do is duplicate the clip that you want to add this effect to and drag that duplicate to the layer above itself so you have that clip stacked up two times on the timeline. Then just turn that bottom layer off so you can't see it. Next, I'm gonna use a Luma key to isolate the brightest parts of that top layer. So basically, I'm just gonna adjust the threshold so that we isolate the blown out white highlights in the image. To finish the effect off, just re-enable that bottom layer's visibility and drag a Gaussian blur effect onto the top layer with those highlights on it. Then just increase the blur amount to soften them out. So basically what we're doing here is separating the highlights onto their own layer above our original track and blurring them out. Simple as that. If you go into the Luma fade and adjust the options for the edge feather and the tolerance, you can kind of soften the effect and make it bleed out into the rest of the image. And if you still find it overall to be a bit too strong, you can just lower the opacity of that top layer. So that's the process you can use to easily create this effect in video editing software. And it's actually very similar in photo editing software as well. In Photoshop, just use the color range tool to isolate those highlights, then hit Command J to lift them onto their own separate layer. Then just use the Gaussian blur effect to soften them out the same way we did before. If you want a somewhat more in-depth look at the process for creating this effect in photo editing software, I did a video a while back about using a very similar technique to create fake light rays in your photos. So that's pretty much the same process. So I'll link that video right up here if you want to learn a bit more about creating this effect in Photoshop or other photo editing software. There are a few things to be aware of if you're using this effect yourself. For example, in Premiere, it's important that if you want to sharpen your clip, you apply the sharpening to that bottom layer only. For some reason, I found that if you apply the sharpening to an adjustment layer above both layers, it can diminish the effect and make it kind of go away for some reason. I mean, Premiere messing stuff up without really making sense. Like, what did we expect? But it's also important to know that this effect just looks stupid sometimes. Like sometimes you put it on a certain clip and it just looks weird. So don't use it if it looks weird. And even if you use it on the right clip, if you mess up the settings or just make it a little bit too harsh, too strong, you can still make it look weird and distract the viewer from the shot. So this is something where it's important to stay pretty reserved with it and use it in a way that looks realistic and doesn't distract from the actual clip. But this is without a doubt one of my favorite effects out there, one of the most versatile effects you can use for your photos and videos, and I hope that you've learned something new by watching this video about it. And if you did, do feel free to show your support by leaving a like on the video, sharing it with your friends, or even subscribing to my channel. I upload two new filmmaking tutorials every single week. But that's all for now. Keep creating and I'll see you in the next one.